so here i will tell about the most important and interesting two different control one is power ups drop down control and another one is power ups ms control so first of all what is power ups drop down control power ups drop down control allows users to select only one option from a list of predefined options by clicking on it okay that means your power ups drop down control uh, it will contain list of item or choices and in, in uh, and you need to select only one uh, option or choice or item from this drop down menu okay and uh, also i will tell you how you can uh, use a drop down control in power ups like how you can display items manually in lend drop down control and as well as a for my set point list text column and choice column next what is power ups image control power ups image control means like uh, you can uh, so an image from your local file or any data sources like sharepoint excel sql okay here also i will tell you how we can display images manually like by using a link and as well as there is a option called media so from there how you can display your images in a power ups and also i will tell you how you can display images from a sharepoint list image column okay so so let's jump to my power ups application and implement one by one that how we can use, use drop down control and image control by using a simple scenario so this is my power ups application uh, i have created two demos like i just want to show you like once i will preview it you can see this is my drop down control this looks uh, exactly like whenever user will uh, insert any drop down control it looks like exactly you just need to put the item over there okay mm -hmm. and uh, this is the example like whenever a user will select any type of item uh, it will display here i mean how you can display your selected item inside a label control you can see the right side is a label control whenever user will select any type of item over there this label is displaying that selected drop down uh, item okay and and here you can see in the drop down control a user at a time can only select a single value okay we cannot uh, select multiple value at a time so whenever user will select any type of uh, item in the level control it is display the second example i will show you this one so here you can see these are the uh, items uh, retrieve from the sharepoint list the laptop watch mobile phone whenever user will select any particular uh, like item or value it you can see in the right side it is displaying that specific product image okay so this is also the right side is in, in is an image control uh, like basically so here uh, that image is also coming from the sharepoint list i will later i will tell you that thing but first of all let me tell you how you can add item to a power ups drop down control and as well as the image control manually and as well as from the sharepoint list so i have taken a new screen okay let me insert a drop down control first so like once you will click on i mean once you will enter a uh, drop down you can see uh, inside the input there is a drop down control so you can see uh, like a drop down control inserted over here the default item property will be drop down sim sample so whenever you will preview it you can see 1 2 3 like that and uh, how you can uh, suppose you want to uh, add items manually inside it so like as usual so you can uh, put a square bracket and inside it you need to provide the item over here okay suppose i will put uh, like uh, australia and uh, here i want to put brazil and here i want to put uh, canada okay and uh, here i will put denmark okay so here uh, now you can see the drop down control will display with all the items like manual items that you provided over here okay suppose you want to display uh, any uh, default value whenever user will open this application you can see now the default value will be australia and that is by default okay now you want to display the or set the default value is canada so what you can do there is a call uh, there is a property called as default property so you can go over here and you can write the uh, default property and uh, you can see here default property so is you can see this is one is my uh, like uh, this is the default value will be one suppose you want to display uh, your uh, default value as canada you need to put just canada in between the inverted comma so now you can see it 
now the default item will be Canada. So whenever user will open this application, the by default item will be appear as Canada. Okay. Now let me tell you how you can add items uh, from a SharePoint list. So first of all, let me show you the SharePoint list. You can see I will take product details. Okay. So product details, where it is project details product details okay you can see the product name price purchase state color images are my various type of column image is my image column product name is my title column price is a currency column date purchase date is a date column and color is my choice column so now I, now I want to display uh, I will tell you both the things like how you can display single line of text value in a power apps drop down control and as well as how you can display a choice column value inside a power apps drop down control okay so for that what you will do I will take this one only okay uh, just go to the item property items okay now I will comment this one okay and uh, I will write a code for the uh, set point list okay so before that uh, let me tell you you must ensure that you need to connect with your SharePoint list into this power apps application else it is not possible to display the SharePoint list item over the drop down control so first i will tell you how you can display a uh, SharePoint text column inside a drop down control for that you need to write a uh, function or you need to provide a function called a listing listing function helps to uh, remove all the duplicate value from your drop down controls so for that reason i am putting distinct if you don't want to put the distinct function over here then you can directly write the code as product details dot type so that means uh, it will not remove any duplicate value whatever the uh, values are present inside the share point list here you can see whatever the values are present you can see over here in the power ups drop down control and if you want to remove the uh, duplicate value then you need to just write uh, a distinct function over here like uh, distinct okay and it will remove all the duplicate values and it will display uh, the values inside the drop down control so like whenever you will use the distinct function you can see here the error came because, for, because of the dot so whenever you, you will use the distinct function you need to provide a comma and then you need to provide the single line of text column name then only you can see all the name over here okay now let me tell you how you can display a choice uh, column value inside a power ups drop down control i want to uh, show this color column inside this power ups drop down control for that i will write another code that is called as choice so choices function you need to write it because it is a choice column and then you need to provide the uh, uh, your uh, uh, list name and then dot and then you need to provide the scholar over here okay and then you can see here like once you we'll preview this one you can see all the colors are appearing over here so whatever the choices uh, items are there it will display inside power ups drop down control so in this way you can use the power ups drop down control manually and as well as from the set point list now let me tell you how you can use a power ups image control so uh, to insert an image control as usual go to, just go to the expand the insert uh, option and then just type the image so you can see image so this is a this is an image control okay now uh, suppose you want there are two uh, the, there are two approaches you can add an image one is using the image url and another one is using this media option there is a called op uh, there is an option called media so using that media option you can upload your image from your system or pc or somewhere and then you can display over here okay there is called image property you can see over here and this uh, by default value will be sample image okay now first of all let me add through the link so suppose uh, i will i will type something in google power apps logo okay and uh, now i want to display this image okay inside the uh, power apps image control so for that what i will do i will just copy this image address and then i will go to this image property and then i will uh, just put an inverted comma and then whatever i copied that uh, uh, image address i need to 
just paste it so control b now you can see over here you can see all the code over here okay so now but make sure that you will put inverted comma is it will uh, not show the proper image i mean it will show the error okay so now you can see that image is displaying over here and you can see like uh, in the right side there will be a property called image position so there are five different type of position that you can make uh, in your application suppose you want to uh, center it then the image will be centered you can see all the difference if i will fill it then the image will be filled if i will fit it the image will be fit inside the image control if i will stretch it it will stretch inside the image control if i will make a tile then you can see this is a tile so if you want to make this as a tile you just need to uh, like select this tile image position as of now i want to fit it so it will be like this okay so this is one option that you can uh, use the image control uh, or uh, you can display your image by using this uh, image url second one is media control just go here and uh, suppose you uh, you need to uh, there are two option you can upload your image from your pc or somewhere and then second one the stock image once i will click on it there are some stock images by default uh, present inside it so you can choose any type of uh, this image and you can uh, display over here but here i will tell you how you can upload the image from your pc or somewhere okay so for that i will uh, i will just i i want to show this sp logo uh, image over there so just i i click on open and then you can see it is uh, appearing over here sp logo okay uh, let me add another image over here so image so the image name will be image 4 so whenever you will in first time if you will add the image the image name should be image 1 second image whenever you will add the second image that will be like image 2 image 3 like will be okay you need, if you want to rename it then you just uh, double click on it you can see here you can give any uh, image name over here okay and then the image control name will be image sp logo okay so uh, now what you will do you want to display this sp logo over here you just select this image property and just you need to write the uh, you need to provide the image name just select on it you can see here that's so simple that you can use or that you can display your uh, system image or something like uh, by using this option media option okay here also you, there is a uh, i mean here also i have already told you how you can use the image position so to do this you can uh, use the image position property okay now i will tell you another example that how you can use the uh, sharepoint image and uh, like i will tell you one scenario that how you can use the drop down control with image control okay so once you, the user as i told you once the user will select this item it will display the particular image over here so you can see here whenever the user will select watch from the drop down menu it will display me the watch image okay so for that i will take i will just uh, use this one only okay this uh, uh, this uh, sorry this image uh, this drop down control so this will be the code distinct product details uh, title okay now i will take this image okay or you can take any other image you can insert any new image like image and then and then i will write a code inside the image property of the image control so the code will be you can see here lookup product details is your sharepoint list name lookup uh, helps to look up uh, that uh, specific title column with the image column okay so whatever the user will select from the uh, drop down menu it will display right side it will display the specific image uh, of the specific uh, selected item okay title is my single line of text column drp record is my drop down control name okay so here my drop down control is drop down to if you want to uh, change the drop down control name then you can uh, like double click on it and you can change it like dd and uh, name okay and then uh, you need to change 
here also okay dd and then name okay and then selected okay and then selected dot you can see value okay and then it should be image image is my uh, image control name okay so now you can see just uh, preview the app whenever you will select any particular uh, option over here or item over here the image will be displayed like this okay i will quickly show you how you can use this one like uh, whenever user will select any particular item how you can display in a level control so the same thing if you if I want to use any manual item over here to display in the uh, drop down control you need to provide the value over here and the code will be very simple just add a level control and you need to provide the drop down control name dot selected dot value and then and then uh, like uh, it will display over here whatever the user will select the specific item it will display photos in the next video i will tell you how you can use some more other controls